forgot what I was going to say. That's you. Good lord. <laughs> Savannah, no rock, but no one Hey guys! What's up guys? Welcome back to Generational Chic! So today we will be talking about our history, our family history, the Lee family. And I'm super excited because this month is actually Black History Month, so to be able to learn our family history is a real treat. Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, we're going to start with Abram Lee. That is on my mother's side of the family, and he was born February 1847, born a slave. Wow. Mm -hmm. There's a story that he told about a time when his little brother was actually beat by a woman with a shoe and he was killed. Mm. He witnessed that as a child. Another thing that happened was that about nine years old, he was sold away from his mother and his siblings. Oh, wow. So even after emancipation, he tried to go back and find his mother and his siblings and he never found them. Mm -hmm. But you know what? He went on and he married, no, let me tell you what his name was. His name was actually, his slave name was Abram Slater. Mm -hmm. Yes, but after he was free, he turned, he changed his name to Abram Lee. Okay. Okay, that's how he got his name. Mm -hmm. Now, Abram, uh, married Agnes Ball, and the, he also founded the Galilee uh, Savannah. No, rock, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna to get your glasses. I'm gonna to have to get my glasses. <laughs> still keep going. This is good. This is some good stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I I'll do it without my glasses. Okay. okay. Abram, he founded the Galilee Baptist Church in Roxborough, Virginia. Okay, so he was a pastor. Okay, now this is way back in the day. Him and um, Agnes had 13 children. Whoa, that's a lot of kids. Yes, mm, they, yes. Busy. they had 13 children. And the youngest was a girl who died as an infant, mm. which left Marshall Lee as actually the youngest, who is my great-grandfather, your great-great-grandfather, and your great-great-great-grandfather. Okay. okay? So, uh, Marshall was the youngest living child. The family later on migrated to Conshohocken, Pennsylvania. And Marshall, at that time, was between three and four years old. Oh, wow. When he moved to Conshohocken, Pennsylvania. So, all of the children, Agnes and... Abram all moved into Kentucky. Wow. I've been okay, before. yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, he worked at the steel mill and he was a local pastor. He still was preaching. Okay. okay. They owned two houses on East Sixth Avenue. And when I was younger, we lived there. And after I got married, we also lived in one of those houses. Mm. Yeah, it's something. Is it the one at no, it's on in Country Hockey. I've never on East Six Seven. I'll have to take you there when we go home. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the Yeah, I'm gonna learn where it's at. Yes, yes. There is so much I could say about Abram. He was such a wonderful and well respected man. But he died when he was 104 years oh old. Oh my gosh. gosh. Yes. That is a long life. That yes. is a very long life. Mm -hmm. Now, in 1905, Marshall. Your grandfather, great great grandfather, mm -hmm. he married Hannah May King. Okay. And they had four daughters. Wow. Okay. Yes. They had Agnes, Mary, and Olive. And, and Olive! Olive. Yes. Oh, yes. And yes. 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 And we oh, called um, Marshall and Hannah Mama and Papa. <laughs> and uh, they were just so wonderful, 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 wonderful. And Papa actually worked in the steel mill 
until he entered the ministry. But I want you to know this about your great, great grandfather and your great, great grandfather. Great. He, um, he actually was the first African American to enroll in, at the University of Temple's Theological Seminary. The very first one. The very first one. Oh my gosh! Yes. And Reverend Lee, he founded St. Paul's Baptist Church that is right there in Conshohocken, Pennsylvania. He founded and built that. And I want you to know Abram was alive when all this was going on. Oh so he got to witness that. He sure did. He sure did. And the church That's was big. built in 1920. Wow, that's big to go from slavery to being the first to owning two houses to owning two houses. That's a big accomplishment. It's, it's Can you imagine that at that time they accomplished not, all that? I cannot imagine that. I want you to know about Marshall W. Lee. He co coordinated the first transportation of African-American laborers into Conshohocken from the South so that they could come and work at Allenwood Steel. He actually coordinated that. that he brought blacks up to from the South so that they could come and work mm. at Allenwood Steel Company. He also served as a vice chairman at the mortgage at Montgomery County Housing Authority for 34 years. It's not funny. She needs her glasses. It's not funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. But can you believe I cannot can believe that, that he actually was the chairman, chairman, vice chairman of the Montgomery County Housing Authority. As an African American, yes. I cannot imagine that. He also was the vice president of the Conshohocken Visiting Nurses mm. Organization, and that was an extremely important organization wow. at that time. Okay. He also served as the treasurer of the Conshohocken Bureau of Authority, mm. and he was the director of the Red Cross for Montgomery County. Oh, my gosh. The director. Yes. And he did all this. Back in it at that time. So, quick question: mm -hmm. Was he? Were these like jobs that he transitioned to, or was he doing this all at the same time? He was doing all this at the same time and pastoring at St. Paul. Oh my gosh! Goodness. You know, when I was a little girl, I remember one day he took me with him, and we went to the uh, bank, mm -hmm. and everybody said, "Oh, Reverend Lee, Reverend Lee, come on in." And then we went to the butcher. And they just welcomed him. They talked to him for a while. We went to get his mail. We went to the post office. And everybody was talking to him. And I knew something special was about him because everybody in the community knew him. Everybody respected him. And everybody wanted to talk to him. It was just wow. such a special, he was such a special man. Such a special man. Also, I want you to know that Papa lived to attend the grand opening of the Marshall W. Towers in 1972. Mm -hmm. This was a uh, elderly building, it's an apartment place that they named after him in his honor and it still exists here today. Oh my God. It is on Fayette Street in Conshohocken. Oh wow. And when we go home this next time, I want you to see the building. Oh, yeah. I can he was wait. there, yes, he was there to <laughs> Also, Papa pastored St. Paul's Baptist Church for 51 years. Wow. 51 years. That's longer than my life right now. Yes, he, he pastored the church. Wow. I also want you to know that Papa, he baptized me. He married your father and your grandfather and oh, I. Oh, my goodness. And he oh also gosh, blessed Don, your brother. Your uncle, when he was a baby, he actually did a, a full ceremony and a blessing. Oh wow! Yeah, that yeah. So, so I mean, he was a large part of our family's life, and I mean, we went to church. Papa has such a beautiful singing voice, and all of your aunts, like Aunt Elizabeth, play the organ and, and the piano for the church. Aunt Olive was the direction, the direct, she directed the choir. Mm -hmm. um, they all sang. It was just a wonderful experience growing up around all of the Lee family. Oh, oh wow. Gosh. 
And I want you two to know that this is only two of your ancestors, the two oldest that I can go back to. And that doesn't include the King family, the Holmes, the Mundell, the Thompsons, the West, and the Brocks. Mm. There is so much history, so many wonderful women and men that are our ancestors, that worked hard, that were successful, mm -hmm. that did things that we need to be proud of and know about. Yeah, I agree. Yes. And I just want you to know that you come from a long line of successful, wonderful, proud black men and women. Greatness. Well, so Greatness. Great. Back with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you just have to see that the church was just absolutely wonderful. It stands today. It is still there. And, you know, Papa and Mama were just uh, a prime example of, and Abram, of, I don't care, you know, all history isn't just wonderful and great, mm -hmm. but we have to learn from history and we don't repeat our mistakes but we stand and we just try to do better, better. than those that came before us. Absolutely. I just wanted you to know a little bit about your history. That's only two. We have so much more that we'll share some other time. Yeah, we have to do yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. But this was just amazing just to hear what just the that little bit with Abram and Marshall is amazing. And there's so much more about Abram. I mean, we have cousins that are in Philadelphia. We have Sally Ann and we have Mural and we have uh, Sheila and we have Sharon and Don, your brother. They just are researching all this information mm -hmm. about our family. And I'm so proud of them and what they're doing and writing all this yes, down and I getting agree. the full history of the entire family, the, awesome. whole, the whole branch of the Lee family. Yeah. Well, I'm just really, really, really happy that we were able to share our family history. I want you two girls to know that I'm so proud of you. You come from a long, long lineage of wonderful, wonderful black women and men. And I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you too, me. Yeah, yeah, you too. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was a amazing video. Being able to sit back and learn about my family and knowing how far we've come and what it kind of just shows me that no matter how hard life may be at the moment, you can achieve amazing things. And yeah. accomplish a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if they did it back then, we certainly can do it now. No fear. No, no man, no woman can give us fear. We can do anything that we put our minds to. That's I right. Agree. I agree. <laughs> we stand on the shoulders of great men and women that sacrificed and worked extremely hard through difficult times in history. They cry out to us to keep moving, fighting, and achieving our dreams. So what do you think we'll do next time? Hmm. I was thinking of doing another fashion-related video. Oh, okay, okay, we can do that. We can do that. I like that idea. <laughs> okay, in closing, remember, God first. Family is love, support, and having fun. And guys, remember to be generous.